Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Greta. I love talking about luxury niche perfumery. Whew. And to my beloved subscribers, thank you. Mwah, mwah. I love you to pieces. You guys are the best. And I love chatting with you down below. Okay, guys, it is hot out there. I gotta tell you, it is hot. We have another massive heat wave along with the wildfires here. So my heart goes out to those that are in the fire zone because I know there's a lot of ranches there with animals and that like if anything breaks my heart, it's just animals. Like I, I'm, yeah, my heart really goes to animals. <sighs> anyway, I, I can't think about that. I sometimes, you know, but you know what? While it's really hot out, guys, don't forget liquid IV. Keep yourself hydrated, twice the hydration with this. It has all the vitamins, minerals, and it has uh, electrolytes in here, which has been really my saving grace. I do have the code for you, which has always been 25% off with code Greta Beth. I just got an email on Friday, that effective Thursday, I love when they do that, right? All influencer codes are now 15% off, which kind of bites. So I'm sorry, I didn't even have notice. However, for the holiday weekend, they're doing 20% off. So grab some. My favorite flavors, this one's cherry. Uh, cherry, grape, and fruit punch are probably the three I grabbed the most. They're pretty much all good. I think some of them are just less flavorful, but those I really, really love and I live on them. Um, so get yourself some liquid IV. Stay hydrated. So let's see what we have here. I have a bunch of perfumes I cannot wait to tell you about. I am loving on these. Uh, some of them are going to make some top 10 lists. There's some new releases in here and stay tuned for that. Okay, let me start with this drop by Happy Land. You already know, Happy Land Indie House. It's indie because this is EJ Wells doing everything himself, which is basically indie independent guy and he's just so so good EJ Wells with the fragrances he does and I've kind of got samples of all of his creations for most of them almost all of them and I've noticed this trend that like every release he gets better and better and better and I have really loved his releases of like the last year this one is Hinterland which I love like Hinterland is German, I love that he's had Wunderland and now Hinterland, which is the backwoods or the outback is how that translates from Germany. So it really means like the inland hillbillies. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's it's really kind of referring to the rednecks, or the outback, the backwoods, Hinter meaning behind, Lunt meaning the land, so backwoods. This one is, I get like a citrus tea with honey in it and almost like somebody put a, like a drop of almond extract in there because you get this almond kind of essence also. Yeah, it's like citrus almond. It's so yummy, yet refreshing. Now, what I'm also liking is that a lot of his newer releases are really good for women too, where his early releases kind of really leaned masculine and he's now really, I think, I feel like he's entertaining the women a little bit more and making them a lot more unisex and you know the paisley dreams is like my ride or die i love that bottle hard i'm on my second bottle so this one is citruses musks white florals herbal notes woods almond ambergris and a dash of honey i get a good amount of honey in the beginning of this one I said it's like a citrus tea with honey with that almond that almond backs off as it dries it's strong at the first blast but then settles down you get more of those clean musks and white and delicate white florals that it's very airy you feel like you're in this open space with this fragrance that it's really nice transitioning from the hot summer to the cool fall and especially now where we have these wild weather happening everywhere. A lot of people have heat waves. Some people are getting cool weather. You have cool weather, then a heat wave, and it's just, whoo, all over the map, right? Like we're having a massive heat wave. September is our hottest month. And this has been amazing. 
Um, but there's still that warmth from the honey in there that it really lends nicely to the fall. So this is another one of my hits. I'm really in love with this one. And now that we're getting to fall, I'm gonna have to do like a fall hit list because he has some great coffee fragrances and some great like winter gourmand fragrances that I'll, I'll start featuring when the weather cools off a little more. But Hinterland, highly recommend. And there's the code Greta20. It's not an affiliate or anything. It is only a discount for you. You know, I love discount codes. I love getting you guys discounts codes, whether it's affiliate or not, just to give you something um, to say, hey, I sent you. So Greta 20, and it's super affordable because he keeps the packaging simple. The juice is really good quality, but simple packaging, you know, a sticker label, really good and a really good atomizer. Um, you know, I'm down with that. I'm down with saving money on the packaging, not on the juice. So. Yeah. Next up, I have the brand new release actually launched yesterday, but by the time this launches, uh, day before yesterday, this is Mikalev has the new collection. First they had, what was it? Secrets of love. Now they have stories of love. So in this package, they're glass. So if you remember the secrets of love was a metallic caged bottle. This is now glass and it's ornate on this side. This is all solid glass and it says Michelin on the side. Comes with a beautiful little delicate bracelet here. Let's see if we get this off. With this little oops, solar emblem here, a little like sun emblem. So this is Soleil Passion. This one, oh, I wore this the other day. This is so, so good. I like this better than the previous collection to be honest. So the inspiration behind this was the private garden of Martin, Martin Mikhailov and Jeffrey Neiman. It's basically them opening the doors and the windows and you have wafting in the florals that they have, which are the roses and the water lilies and um, lily of the valleys. And then they have out there a whole lot of produce, which I also have. They have pomegranate trees everywhere in the Mediterranean. Since the climate where I live, my little microclimate is very much like the Mediterranean, I tend to have a lot of the same Mediterranean trees here. So this one opens up with this burst of sweet and tart, but not like an osmanthus apricot kind of sweet and tart. This is sweet wild strawberries with tart but sweet mandarin and pomegranate. And I really get a lot of pomegranate in here, which is so unique. Man, I love this. And then you have those florals coming in that really gives it a nice balance of a fruity floral without being this, you know, cliche fruity fragrance. This really is different, which I'm just loving. And I got so many compliments wearing this while riding around town, looking at tiles. And yeah, it's a whole nother story I'll have to tell you about. But man, and then it's in a base of sandalwood and ambergris and musk, which just kind of gives it this kind of like coming off your skin kind of feeling. It just really rounds it nicely and that ambergris gives it this addictive kind of thing. This is so amazing. I am loving this and it sounds like there might be a whole nother collection coming being that it's the Stories of Love collection, and this is the first, they did say this was the first drop. So I'm excited because I am loving this one. Um, and again, I do have a discount code, Greta10, saves you 10% at Mikalev. Uh, I, you know, I've always loved the Mikalev house. I think they do incredible fragrances. Anyway, that is the Soleil Passion. Mwah, amazing. Next up, I tried the house. Una Nui Nomad, which is really kind of cool. And this graphic is really kind of their theme. If you look in here and if you carefully like analyze this artwork, I started to notice that there's actually a piece of each of the fragrances in this artwork, which I think is really cool. If you look here, you see the camel and you'll get that fragrance. You'll get the florals here where you can see this Alang Alang. You can see uh, the Montauk Point Lighthouse here. Uh, there's also this woman who's from South Africa, which is for a click song. 
So I, act I actually had a really nice time spending a weekend when I first got this discovery kit, getting to know this house and understand it, try all of the fragrances, and I really kind of submerged myself into it and to figure out which ones I liked. And there were actually five that really called to me that I truly, truly enjoyed, but I got two. So when I received them the other day, I noticed, which I love little details, their tissue paper is the exact same. It's that same piece of artwork. I think that is so cool. And they literally are consistent with this and it really does summarize all of their fragrances. So let me get into which ones I got. Now, when you get them, they're in these boxes with a sleeve and you'll see there's like a global map here. Uh, and there's collections. So the collections are like subcategories and each collection has to do with a geographical location. They just released the Click Song, which is about South Africa. And there's a great story that goes with that fragrance. It's not the one I got, but it is one of the five I like. And then there is regarding Eastern Long Island, Montauk Point. There's a collection of a four for there and Omen. So now I received or I asked for, if you don't know, I'm actually from the Hamptons in New York on Long Island, which Montauk Point is part of the Hamptons. So Long Island, we always say is shaped like a fish. I'll try to get a video, like a picture of a map up here if I can get something that fits on the screen. And then it has two tails at the end. You have the North Fork and the South Fork. So the South Fork is the Hamptons. And people misunderstand how long it is because it's really... It's 100 miles to get to Southampton from Manhattan. So east 100 miles, then you start the Hamptons. And that's like another 100 miles. People don't understand how long it goes, but it's extremely narrow. And it's like one road going east. And it was always a single lane, which is just brutal with traffic. So Montauk Point is the dead end. They call it the end. We also nicknamed it the uh, another name for tail end of the earth, the um, hiney end of the earth. It was really the nickname of out there. It's really the end. And when you get to the tip, it's a lot of marinas first off, but it's just, you're there and it's the water. And yeah, I mean, you know, I grew up on, that's why I grew up on boats out there. There's just so much water waterways and a lot of water there. Uh, it's also a lot of shark fishing out there and you can go from there. You can go to like um, Martha's Vineyard and you go to like um, Black Island, all the great places you could go to. Nantucket, you go from there. But with that said, I had to get Nothing But Sea and Sky, which is about Montauk. I didn't totally like the other three, to be totally truthful. They just weren't my speed, like Bohemian Soul. I am not Bohemian, okay? Y'all know that, not Bohemian. So there is Memory Motel, which is about the Montauk Motel. It's like there's one motel, well, there's one motel out there. There are resorts out there. Uh, Bohemian Soul, not for me. And Rose America was really about the rose and it could have some sentimental value, but I wasn't, it's all right. I'm not really into just florals, but this one, really spoke to me. The inspiration behind this is sitting there in the dead of winter. Now you have to know that we also nicknamed the day after Labor Day, which is the end of the summer, the summer of time is Labor Day weekend. Monday being a holiday, Tuesday, we nicknamed Tumbleweed Tuesday because literally no one was there. It was like ghost town. So Tumbleweed Tuesday. So it's very desolate out there. It's definitely more country out there in the winter. So in the dead of winter, they said, you know, when it snows, which is weird because it doesn't really, snowstorms don't really hit Montauk Point very often. For some reason, it's just out there. And when the weather systems come in, they tend to go more inland and not hit Montauk Point. So it's kind of funny that it's about a snow covered winter. But in the winter, when you have a snowstorm, the skies are pretty white. Then you have these like, white capped waters and then you have the snow on the ground and it's a whole lot of white and it's called nothing but sea and sky which is really what you see and I just was like gosh this one really strikes a chord with me and it's a cozy fragrance that I like like 
I'm trying to think of something similar and there's not, the closest I could get to was the mental vibe of maybe Santal Complet, even though that's a little more tropical because this is really cozy with musks. And me personally, it's not listed, but I get this like coconut vanilla in here. It's this sandalwood musk with this hint of vanilla coconut in there and like just enough vanilla to really round out that sandalwood musk and give it that cozy kind of, you know, weekend snowstorm curled up on the couch with a nice duvet and peaceful. It's just, it has that vibe, but with that vanilla coconut giving it that kind of fluffy texture around you. So it says for notes, the top note is Italian bergamot, heart note is Australian sandalwood with a base of white musks. And white musks are a clean smelling musks. Now it is more of a close, kind of skin scent close, it's musks. You know, musks ride close to you, but they're really refreshing or cozy. And this is kind of something you're wearing for yourself, not for something bopping around town. It's more of that, you know, when you're, when you're being introspective, it's kind of like for an introspective kind of mood that you're in, but it just really struck me. And I'm like, yes, they nailed it. They totally caught that vibe out there on Montauk Point. So it was just really cool for me. So nothing but sea and sky and I absolutely love this one. It would also go with like, you know, your clean girl vibe kind of a thing or like, you know, your casual clean kind of thing going on. This works for that. It's also great for work. It'll never interfere or offend anyone. You can see on a card that comes in there, the view um, Montauk Point. You've got like the sugar sand dune beaches there, the ocean, you have the ocean and the sound kind of like it's where they connect. Uh, Plum Island, lots of good books and stories about Plum Island out there too. Plum Gut, Plum Island. Oh yeah. Great stories out there. So nothing but sea and sky. So the second one that I got that I really fell in love with Jardine de Misfas. Now this one is from the Oman collection. This one and Ambra Kanjar and Sun Bleached. Really like that amber fragrance too. That's one of the five. A bite of date not only contains flesh that nourishes your body, but the sweetness, scent, and color that nourish your spirit. It's an olfactory pause, a moment suspended in time, a harmony of scents where the fresh whisper of flower petals fuses with an accord of creamy dates, honey, and sweet water. Now, I love this one. Now, I love honey, but I only like small amounts of honey. I don't like too much honey. So when, when I saw date and rose, I immediately started thinking of Rouge Soray by Atelier de Sors because it also has that, date's kind of unique to me in these fragrances. So you definitely get that sweet date in here, but there's also the rose, which so it's very, um, it's a, it's a richer fragrance, but not quite as rich as this. This is definitely more rich, more powerful, much more voluptuous of a fragrance, a lot more intense where I really need cool weather for this one. Whereas this one is a little bit more year round. This is a beautiful fragrance. If you like Rouge Soray, I think you'll like this as well, but it is lighter. So it's a lot easier to wear where, I mean, it's 90 degrees out and I have this on. It'll also carry the weight for in the winter. I feel like all of these that I have here actually carry around year. They can actually all be worn year round. They have enough to carry them in the winter yet aren't overwhelming in the summer heat. I think this one is so pretty. This one is cardamom nutmeg on the top with a date accord, a rose absolute, a rose essence, and a saffron and almond. So you, there is a lot of sweetness in here because you have the date, you have the honey, you have the almond. I don't get heavy on the almond though, but it is more like the date kind of relaxes a little bit with the dry down. And then it kind of, it kind of segues into more of an almondy sweetness, which you know is a little bit more delicate. 
I think I like it a little bit more because it starts out pretty darn sweet. But this one is so good. This was definitely the winner. Like this was the one I wanted. I really needed this, but there are three others that I really enjoy from this house that I'm interested in as well. I'm not gonna go into them because I'm hoping I'll, I'll grab a bottle for you. And I do have a coupon code for you for this too. I have Greta25, which when you place an order, you can then order a 25 ml of whatever one you choose. So I'll tell you the ones that I like and you can kind of hone in on them is I definitely like the Nothing But Sea and Sky. I definitely love the Jardines de Misfa. I do like the very ambery click song. I like the amber fragrance and Suma Oriental. Those are the five that I really like if you're looking to kind of hone in on which one you want for that free, um, for the free little 25 ml, which I think is a great size, especially when you have a big collection. You have more than you can wear. 25 is a lot of juice. It's probably all you need. But it's a great way to kind of get some free additional fragrances here. Uh, let's see. The card here, you can see all these palm trees. Again, this is a lot like my California home here. You've got all the palm trees and the waterways and this very like decadent kind of feel. There's definitely something more decadent about this and sweet and succulent. Mm. I love this one. Anyway, moving on because I have a lot here. Oh, I also want to mention before I forget, if you guys are wondering, yes, I am going to Scent Explore in December in New York City. It is December 2nd to the 3rd. I'll definitely be there. Um, so if you want to meet me, definitely come. You can get a ticket either virtually, which I think is super affordable, like maybe $25. And then you can also get a ticket. You can get an all access, access ticket, or you can do the VIP ticket, which gives you um, also a ticket to the VIP party that night. And I will put a link in the description box that is an affiliate link. If you want to say, hey, love Greta, I'm going to kind of a thing. I'm pretty excited. There's going to be some great brands there this year. I was kind of, you know, myself, I was kind of waiting to see which brands were signing up and there's some good ones. So I'm pretty excited. Um, so December 2nd and 3rd, I will be there. It's a weekend. Next up, you know, I placed an order with, there is the Voice 1920. I totally screwed up the name. It is Bottega Italiana Spiga, which is why it is abbreviated Voice 1920, 1920 when they started. So they own all three houses. They have the Profuma di Firenze, which is where I got the, the Bontolenti, the ice cream fragrance, and then also this Via Dante. But they also have a house, which I, I didn't fully understand. It is a new house from late last year in 2021 that they created, and it is Olfatology. And there are six fragrances in here, and you can also do a discovery kit. So I have two that I bought. Um, sorry, some I bought, some were gifted. I got, I then bought samples of the other ones so that I could try the whole collection. I have to say there's two that I think are just too masculine for me, four that I absolutely love. I'm going back for more, especially since there's like a $300 limit. I'm sorry, there's like a $300 minimum to ship to the US for free shipping. Otherwise it's like $50 shipping, which is crazy. If you're in the EU, great, lucky you. For the US, there's a lot of issues. So it's a $300 minimum, which bites. I'll get into those, but let me tell you these because I am mad in love with these. Oof. If you know, I love sweet, resinous, woody fragrances. Also with a dollop of floral, maybe a little lighter, maybe a little heavier, depending on the mood, depending on the weather. Um, I think, you know, if you like Coromandel, which is a sweet, woody, resinous kind of fragrance, like I love that stuff. Whew. And these are super affordable. I was a little leery of them. 130 euros for 100 ml X straight. I have never heard that, but I think what they did is they saved money on the packaging. It's in a beautiful box that ships very securely. And then you have 
a very elegant shaped glass bottle. However, I mean, if you look closely, you know, they don't, they didn't pay extra for the invisible, let me see if you can see, you can actually see the straw in here, which, you know, they pay a lot more for the invisible straw. And then they have a very simple label on here, sticker on the bottom, there's no engraving. There's nothing that's really expensive on here, but it is a gorgeous thick glass, a very nice friction fit. This is pretty light, but not plastic light. Gold cap, beautiful atomizer. Like they actually, beautiful misting atomizer that I really enjoy. They paid where it matters and you can tell the ingredients in here are really good and me personally in this economy if i'm backing off on something i really appreciate that i'm seeing companies back off on packaging because that's what i want to give up i don't want to give up the juice they do have here where it says olfactology which is really nice which is kind of embossed on the glass here and if you think about it i mean i actually had this conversation with kat on Instagram, my top notes, love her, she's in Southern California here, and we were talking about that because I went to the event for La Labo for their city exclusives, and I'm like, 350 for 50 mLs or 510 for 100 mLs, and I'm like, and it's in a simple glass bottle with a sticker that they print out on their label maker at the mall, and a mall employee mixes it up, and I'm like, I'm sorry, there's not even anything Lux in the packaging. How is it that expensive? I just don't get it. I would rather have a Raja for that price or a Steve Renumbert Locus. Like, at least here I can say, you know, simple packaging, but 130 euros, which is right now one for one, a dollar for 100 ml of X straight. Like, that's phenomenal. I didn't even get to the smell. Holy cow. I wore the Evros. Evros is one that I absolutely love. I wore this while hunting tiles. I, I'm doing a little bit of um, kind of remodel. I built my house six years ago, but there, you know, I've done a lot in stages of, you know, I'm kind of like, it's an upgrade that I'm doing now and it's gonna be a real nightmare for a month. But I was looking for Italian tiles and in the store, they were like, you smell amazing. And I told them I had a channel and they're like, that's why you always smell amazing. Like, that's really good, whatever you're wearing and in a heat wave too. This one is a lot of Lang Ylang, Toe Balsam, and Cypriol. So it's a really woodsy fragrance. Top notes are Bigarade, um, I think I'm in Italian here, yeah, okay. Bigarade, Neroli, and Raspberry with a heart of Moroccan Rose, Turkish Rose, Lang Ylang, and Cypriol. In a base of oud, patchouli, incense, toy balsam, vanilla berries, and musk. And it's a really beautiful, sweet, resinous, woodsy fragrance. Love, love, love this one. And Everose is definitely going to be going into my favorite, sweet, balsamic, woodsy fragrance video. This one is just, ah, definitely got compliments on this one. It's incredible. I love this. The other one I got that I absolutely love, I think I like it even more, is Zambesi. Oh, beautiful, like sweet vanilla, jasmine. Oh, I love this one. Okay, so this is a warm embracing union characterized by the magic of jasmine absolute, ambergris, and the sheer opulence of the woods. And it represents the energy of the river, which flows into the waterfall, flowing its endless run towards plains and sea, which is a similar story to Jasmine uh, Jardin de Misfa. However, they're very different. This one is a top of bergamot, tangerine, magnolia, giving that beautiful, sweet, creamy kind of fragrance. A heart of jasmine absolute, cinnamon, labdanum, vanilla beans, tonka beans, in a dry down of ambergris, Peru balsam, patchouli, sandalwood, cedarwood, musk. It does get more woody with the dry down, but it always has this beautiful, sweet creaminess to it. And I just, man, 
absolutely love this one. It's so darn good, Zambesi. And again, 130 euros or dollars for 100 ml X straight. This one lasted me all day into the evening. I definitely got a full run on this and it's just, um, yeah. This, these new releases are amazing. And I'll tell you the two that I picked out that I want to get is Yosemite, similar again, Woodsy, and Yorua, I think is how it's pronounced, Yorua. That one is like Intense Cafe or Mansara Roses Vini or Zerjok Cambridge. It's definitely in that realm. Ooh, and it is good, good. And I think probably the most affordable from all of them. I mean, maybe the same price that you could find from Mansara, but it's a way better quality than Mansara. But I'll get into that one if I pick it up. But again, those are all recommendations for me, especially if you want to hit that 300 minimum to get free shipping. Or again, I also recommend um, just going in with somebody else. And then, you know, your shipping across the country here is not a big deal if you have Fricom friends. So, but this is Zambesi. Whew. Absolutely loving Zambesi. You know I love Magnolia. I'm having a tree out front um, switched out for a Magnolia tree too. I just, Magnolia is so so beautiful. Yeah, Salvia Dante by Profuma di Firenze. Absolutely loving. It's a lot like Cassiopeia. Opens with a big, a big punch of fruits. And again, if you're if you're underwhelmed by a fragrance that just traveled at a high altitude. So for me, you know, international coming from Europe, it goes at a really high altitude. It just kind of, you know, it unsettles them and they need a few days to rest and settle down and then the fragrance comes back. So this one is all that passion fruit. And you know, when I think passion fruit, I do think cassiopeia because it also opens with a big punch of, cass of passion fruit. But then you also have that sweetness of vanilla with some citruses. It is a little bit lighter. It does open fruity. And then lily of the valley is a very light floral. So is sandalwood and the vanilla. So it's more of a delicate fragrance. It's not a beast. It opens with a nice burst of fruits but then settles down to a more delicate, maybe clean girl fragrance, work appropriate, not really beast, but a, but you're gonna smell really pretty. Also date night, because you kind of want them date night to snuggle close to you and not be overwhelmed by a really intense fragrance. You want them to get closer to, to kind of like, have to get, you know, come in closer for a sniff. You want a delicate fragrance. So the Adante, I really like this one. And again, super affordable. What is this one? Um, 98 euros for hundred ml. So again, super affordable. Like there's some, I'm loving that I'm finding these great fragrances. So, um, but that's all of them. I've gone on, this is like overwhelming. This has been like the longest video. So I'm so sorry. And yeah, I'm totally casual in my t-shirt, my Yellowstone t-shirt here because I have been running around measuring for stuff. I'm trying to do like, you know, the, the wine cellar and the, that I'm now putting in some um, expensive Italian tiles. And I just, I have to move my collection. I am doing more built-ins because of, you know, we have earthquakes here. I can't just get like Ikea shelves here. So I'm having to do more built-ins. And while I'm doing this other stuff, I'm also building that out more for all the perfume I have. And it's so overwhelming to think of moving my collection, moving where I film, moving out of my bedroom, like moving out of several rooms, moving the dogs. And I'm just like, I'm hoping to just bang this out in a month and be done, but it's gonna be, it's gonna get rough for a little bit. And I'm just, I'm overwhelmed in a heat wave running around at these stores and checking stuff. So a little casual, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and those are some great fragrances and some good codes that I have for you guys. You know, I love trying to get you a discount code or some kind of code for you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.